Hey, happy Friday. Um, here is the book, Some Dog, by Mary Casanova, and pictures by Art, Ard, A-R-D, weird name, Ard Hoyt. If there was one thing George could do, it was follow a smell. It looks like a basset hound. If you watch um, Pioneer Woman cooking show, Re, she has a basset hound. Mr. Weber's dad has a had basset hounds. Mr. Weber's brother, Donnie, has a basset hound. Okay. George had a good life. Scooch my chair this way. There we go. When the woman read the newspaper, George had a place to rest his weary head. When, when the man chopped wood, George studied a thousand cents in the wind. And when they went fishing, George, who couldn't swim, rode in the middle, steady and still. You're some dog, said the woman. Some dog, said the man. But the day another dog arrived, everything changed. He must be a stray, said the woman. Looks like he's here to stay, said the man. Arr, said George, cried George. Arr, 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 arr. I think I might be able to predict the problem in this book. What about you? Like a jackrabbit, the stray leapt back and forth. Yippee, 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 yip, 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 yip. And then he zipped around the room three times. What a lively dog, said the man, woman. Yes, let's call him Zippy, said the man. And look at, do you see? There's some dog hiding under the chair. Now when the newspaper arrived, Zippy snatched it, flew over the couch, and dropped it at the woman's feet. Good dog. When the man chopped wood, Zippy, Zippity, backflipped and caught sticks in midair. Amazing. When the man and the woman biked to the corner store, Zippity ran ahead with the grocery list, and by the time they arrived, the shop owner had their groceries packed up and ready to go. What a dog. And when they all went fishing, Zippity jumped from George's back, lap to lap until he dove, caught a fish, and swam to shore. That zippity is some dog. That night at dinner, George was too tired to beg for food. At bedtime, he was exhausted, but zippity snored in his sleep. One day, George smelled the rain on the wind. Before long, thunder grumbled. It boom, boom, clanged and rumbled. George didn't mind. But with each clap of thunder, Zippity raced in circles. He plinked, he chewed, he dashed, he crashed until finally, uh-oh, out! Rain pounded down. Wind shook the treetops, then boom, a crack, clang. Zippity was gone. He'll get lost. It's a terrible storm. But George thumped his tail at last. He had the bed all to himself. George, begged the woman, go find Zippity. George stretched and groaned. Come on, George, the man pleaded. Here, George, the woman said, smell this. If there was one thing George could do, it was follow a smell. Through whipping wind and needle rain, George led the way. Nose to the ground, he sniffed and whiffed, snorted and twitched. He smelled a thousand scents, but one by one, he followed only one. I messed that up, sorry. 
past the farmhouse in shambles, a clothesline of thorny, bram of thorny brambles, George tracked the scent. When the man and the woman turned back, George pressed on, following his nose. Up steep steps and down he went to the top of the seesaw, to the ground again, along a slippery rail over a rotted pine, down along the valley through the swampy, murky mire. George kept going until his nose led him to a quivery, shaky, shivery, wet and quaking. Zippity, stuck in the thick, oozy muck. Zippity whimpered, zippity whined, he twisted and turned, he wriggled and churned, but the harder he tried to reach the bank, the deeper and deeper and deeper he sank. Ow! cried George. And George stretched himself across a log. He grabbed Zippity's collar and held fast. Slow and steady, steady and slow, George tugged and pulled, pulled and tugged. Until out zippity popped. Yay, yippity, yip, 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 yip. The dogs touched noses, then George led the way. He sniffed and whipped, snorted and twitched, following the trail through the swampy, murky mire, over a rotten pine, down a slippery slide, until... It's zippity, they cried. You found him. Oh, George, you're some dog, said the man. Our dog, said the woman. From that day on, George and Zippity got along just fine. George always had a place to rest his weary head. Every day he studied a thousand cents in the wind. And when they all went fishing, George rode in the middle, steady and still. And most nights, George didn't mind sharing, even in his sleep. That's a cute story. Some dog. Was your prediction that George was going to get a little jealous? Yeah. Just like kids. Like when a new baby might come. Have a great weekend. See you guys.